Vesterbrook, a barren heath. Wooden towers where our jailers stand guard. Walls covered with thousands of flies. The Ada was crammed into barrack 67. Betrayed. You never know by whom. Our last month together. Our last month. Anne and Peter walking hand in hand between the barracks and barbed wire. Edith washing underclothing in murky water, worrying about the children. Numb. Margot silent, staring at nothing. Our last month on Dutch soil. Late August, Paris free, Brussels, Antwerp, but for us it's too late. September 3rd, 1944. A thousand of us herded into cattle cars, the last transports to leave Vesterbork for the extermination camps. The train. Three days, three nights. In the middle of the third night, Auschwitz. Separation. Men from women. Edith. Margot. And my family. Never again. Selection. Half our transport killed in the gas chambers. One day, Peter and I watch a group of men march away, his father among them, gassed. Peter on the death march to Mauthausen, three days before the British arrive. His mother, Auschwitz, Bergen Belsen, Rubenwald. Prison star. Date of death unknown. Mr. Dussel dies in noon again. January 27th, 1945. I am freed from Auschwitz. I know nothing of Edith, of the children, and then I learned that Edith died in Birkenau of grief, hunger, and exhaustion. In winter of 45, typhus breaks out in Bergen Belsen, killing thousands of prisoners, Margot among them. Anne's friend, Hanalee, sees Anne through the barracks and through the barbed wire. Turned naked, head shaved and covered with lice. I don't have anyone anymore. She weeps. A few days later, Anne dies. My daughter's body is piled into mass graves just before liberation. 